Okay, so I'm back and I have rinsed the deep conditioner out of my hair. And you're probably wondering what the heck is that tied around her head? Okay, it's a cut off piece of white t shirt. And the reason why I have this on my head is because, according to the curly girl method, drying your hair with an actual towel takes the moisture out of your hair. So basically, if you notice, like when you dry yourself off, you take all the water off your body. Well, when you dry your hair with a towel, you are depleting it of the water that's in the hair. And you want to leave some of that water in your hair to hydrate your hair. So they suggest that you use cotton, cotton material. So for me, my husband, I don't want him to know, but he has an abundance of white t-shirts. And every time he buys more t-shirts, he just adds to his collection. So he's constantly buying white t-shirts. And I don't know what to do with them. So now that I realize that I have to use cotton, I cut the old ones up, so I have a stash of old white t-shirts now that I've cut up. So I take one t-shirt and I cut it into four pieces. So this is just one piece right here. So that's an idea for some of you out there who are trying to figure out where am I going to get cotton to actually dry my hair. So I'm going to leave my hair up like this to air dry for maybe about an hour before I go to bed. And then I am going to put some leave-in in my hair, leave-in conditioner, and I'm going to put my gel in. I'm going to put my hair up for tomorrow for my updo because I am wearing a ponytail again because it's winter and I'm just doing protective styles right now to, you know, just to take care of my hair and keep it healthy in this, this type of weather. You want to kind of keep your hair up and use a lot of protective styles. So for me right now, it's only the, the ponytail. I'm going to try something different this week and I'll probably do a video. But right now, the ponytail is what's working for me. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put the leave-in in. I may put a, a little bit of my oils, jojoba oil, avocado oil, almond oil, all of that good stuff in my hair to re-moisturize it. And then I'm going to put it up and I'm going to tie it up and I'm going to put my bonnet on my head and I'm going to go to bed. So pretty much that was everything about the whole clarifying your hair and deep conditioning. And I hope that you found it very helpful and maybe this was a video that, you know, someone really needed to help them as far as, you know, just learning about cleansing your hair without using sulfate shampoo. So again, you know, you always want to clarify and you always want to deep condition after you clarify. So I hope you found this very helpful. Good night. Hey guys, I decided to do this additional piece on the clarifying of your hair because I did have some extreme results even after the fact of me going through the whole process of clarifying my hair. What happened was I had completed my deep conditioning and that was like six and a half hours that I deep conditioned my hair. And then I rinsed the deep conditioner out and of course I had my hair up air drying. And I went walking around the house or whatever and I walked past hubby and he was like, your hair still smells like vinegar. And I'm like, what? Are you serious? And he's like, yeah. Oh, it stinks. And he went and he sniffed it. And he's like, it stinks. And I'm like, oh, my goodness. So I would not recommend the whole 20 minutes of leaving the apple cider vinegar in your hair because your hair will still stink like apple cider vinegar. So I did speak with a few of my other natural friends, and they were saying that they've heard that you should just run it through your hair you know, don't let it sit no longer than maybe a minute or two. But I watched another YouTuber who specifically said that she does it for 20 minutes. So I'm assuming maybe she lives alone, she doesn't mind the smell, you know, fumigating her house, and maybe she uses something particular to get the smell out of her hair. I'm not sure. So I ended up having to get in the shower, co-wash my hair again with conditioner, and still, I use I actually use a non-sulfate shampoo first, and then I co-washed it with the conditioner. Left that in maybe like five minutes, and then rinsed that out, and then the smell was gone. So that experience in itself kind of you know made me feel like the 20 minutes is extremely too much to leave the apple cider vinegar in your hair because it's a very potent substance and. I guess it really attaches itself to your hair. So I would not recommend 20 minutes. Maybe 2 minutes at the most. So the next time I try it, I will do it for the 2 minutes. 
But for now, I don't even know if I'm going to do the apple cider vinegar again just because of that experience. But I did get my bentonite clay, so I will do a video when I finally use the bentonite clay to clarify my hair. And I do know that the bentonite clay does not have a smell. So I will do a video about the bentonite clay and the benefits of it for clarifying your hair as well as using it as a facial mask. So I just wanted to add this piece to the clarifying video just in case someone did follow my video and did the 20 minutes and got the same results and then they would be upset with me like I'm upset from watching another YouTuber and actually doing what she did and getting those type of results. I don't like it at all. So I just wanted to let you guys know that before you say, oh my goodness, naturally me 2012 said 20 minutes and look what happened. Okay, so that's why I did this additional piece for my video. Good night.